Hello everyone, welcome back to Evil Genius 2 in as Maximilian. So we're still we're basically just building a, a a basically what is a infirmary to heal up injured minions, as you can see, currently injured. Morale is low, vitality is on the floor. Um and we're building up this area here. So, um, essentially, we can get more criminal networks out in the world, which is out here. And we're setting up a new one over here. So, now, what we're going to do is we're going to launch this scheme that will take 30 minutes and give us 20,000 over the course of time. Minions will not return to the lair. Go. So, as a result of our actions over here, you can see the heat is starting to build. Currently at 16, and it's 49% complete. So heat is quite substantially being built, as far as we're concerned. Now, obviously, what we want to do is to get to a position where we can have more of these things in here. Power is not too bad. Gold is okay, but we need to steal more gold so that we can essentially do more things we also need to create a area for our troops to go and eat essentially so and also to sleep that's the other problem we've got now what i think we'll do is we'll create the eatery here like so Just have it nice and simple. And then we've got E3, can we get it round like that? Let's make it one bigger. So we can get two of these in. And then another one down there. Now I'm wondering where we can build Max's lair and what we can do I'm leaving this area open at the moment because I want to use it to build sort of the kind of things that will protect our base from ne'er-do-wells foot pads and general shenanigans which is why I'm sort of building an infrastructure back here first I think that I should build here Maximilian's lovely lair and then the only drawback is optional objective complete that So we'll have to go back to the lair. And remove some of that. Like that. And then. So that might work there. But we're going to reset that anyway. So what we'll do is we'll create the corridor first. Like so. And then we'll create his lair next. Now these have not yet been built. We're lacking the money. That one's going to get built shortly. Let's see how we're getting on. Heat is building, 7%. I would like to have enough money in order to build another here. So that we can essentially have more things. And you can leave a little bit of space here for them to get in between. So that makes things a little bit easier. 
We don't have a door on there yet, but we should. So we need to hire six more minions, which we'll do eventually. It was a natural rate. Oh, hello. Kill the rest of them. This is the problem we've got. They're going to attack the power now. This is the problem we have with having the power. So, at the front of everything. So, what I think we'll need to do is move the power down to here. So, it's not as accessible. I am aware of that, thank you. They got one more to finish off. Oh, minion just got decked. Come on. And splash another minion. One of them's hungry. He's looking to heal up. Oh dear. And we're done. High alert. So we're going to have a minion that we can, or sorry, a enemy that we can interrogate, which is good. Giving us more intel. And we can start building more stuff. Now obviously, if we look here, they yeah, 3,000. So we got to wait until we've got more money before we make any kind of an inroad into that. We also need to get that in. So at least now the lads have somewhere to eat. But the problem that we have is they don't have anywhere to sleep. So we can go to the barracks. The barracks will also allow us to create... No, actually, let's not do that. Let's do it like that. And then... Create it like that. Now, what we'll need for the barracks is we'll need a wall to put the bunk beds in. And we'll want the bunk beds separate from the rest of the area. No, not that one. We want that one. So here are the bunk beds. We're going to want to change that because I want to be able to put two sets of bunk beds in here. And you can put the bunk beds relatively close to each other. So we're going to want to make it a bit wider and we're going to want to move this wall back to about there, I think. So let's go back to that. Items, here we go. Three. Four, there we go. And then on the other side, um, we're going to have lockers. Now, lockers, as with the original game, uh, enables you to have more minions. And so there we go. <clears throat> now, let's see if we can get Max over yes. to here. I need to be here. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We can collect a reward in a second. So we are going to say work harder. And there's the area of effect buff there. 
So hopefully they'll come in and they'll do that relatively quickly. That's 5,000, so we're a little way away. But if we go into this menu here, you can see we can now collect rewards, collect rewards, and that boosts the financial gain for us. Side stories, see, cover operations, access muscle. Let's do that. A more, more muscle around here. here. Yeah. How much can you lift? Uh -huh. and how many bullet, bullet wounds can you take? Yeah, okay, one, maybe two. Point. So he's going to go out and essentially look for a muscle minion that we can then bring back here and interrogate. How are we doing for power? Okay, we've got enough power, so we should be able to put a door in here. And also... What we're going to do is just to protect us for the time being. We're going to put a couple of traps in. Like that. So they're boxing gloves and they will essentially smack them in the nose. And stop them from doing anything. So there we go. That's now surrounded by green which means there's somebody on the way. You can click on that to find the assigned minion. Here is the assigned minion with the item in his lair builder 5000. So that's a good thing. You're running out of gold. I am aware of that. Thank you. She'll tell you that a lot. Get used to hearing that a lot. You're always running out of gold. So now, as soon as that's placed in... At last, something worthy of my skills. There we go. We'll turn that off. Now, you can see they'll get in there. I actually thought it was going to be the other way around. And it would scan... Like, that reminds me of the uh, the building device when they built the... Uh, that Superwoman in um, Fifth Element. Love that film. Great film. So, now that we've built the corridor down here, I think we're going to be in a position where we can build... A nice little lair for our stumpy little friend. Let's see if we can get everything in there. Will we be able to get the big desk in? Yes, we will. And, of course, the all-important magnificent chair and a door. So you can see there, it's going to cost 53000 over the course of time. So, you know, the fact that we can't build it immediately is okay. And here we go, here's all the beds and everything in the process of being put together. Lockers. Oh, hello. More agents, really. I want that intruder found and distracted quickly. Let's see if we can distract them, because we're building up heat. By, um... Not... By killing them, essentially. So, we're creating more problems than we solve by killing these constant investigators. Now... You can see here... Shield icon. All the rest of it. Another shield icon. Another shield icon. This one is down where we are, so this is the one that we can use. And this will basically get Die Guard with a pension. The the puns in this game are equal to the puns um, in the original game. So I'm sure if you love good puns, you'll love this. So we're currently running this money-stealing one. So if we stop it... We're going to basically stop that money steal. So we can wait on that one for the time being. But let's collect some rewards. Go into here. Optional. Collect reward. There we go. And then after we've done that. Let's come down to here. And launch that scheme. That one will then disappear for the time being. And we're now basically going to run the scheme to get the uh, guard in, which will be helpful. 
So, the key, I think, in this game, if you're not running through the tutorial, which I do recommend you do, it's a long tutorial, I mean, you can spend as long as 10 hours playing the tutorial, um, is it's just a way of getting to know the game, but when you start without the tutorial, you have less of an advantage. And there we go. There's some distraction. Your minions will escort the enemy out of your base to a safer location. Now, we do want to move the power. Once this has been built, I think what we'll do is we'll make this corridor here over to there. That will then give us another opportunity to run the corridor up here, which means we should have a square area comprised of corridor access to enable us to faff around and move people around our base. I mean, we can expand this if need be. Um, we can put in other things. Uh, we could reduce this if we wanted to. This is the one advantage you have in the game, is you can actually reduce the size of a room if you're not happy. You can sell things, move them around once you place them. That's one of the biggest differences between Evil Genius 1 and Evil Genius 2. Um, and it's better for it. It's a lot less hassle. But I think what we'll need to do here... See, there you go. Now being escorted out by one of our minions. And no one's going to find one. Hello. Yep, yeah, yeah, you need to leave. Get out. So we are essentially just distracting them. Oh, we need to sell that as well. Missed some stuff to sell. Sell that. Not really bothered having rocks around. We still haven't put anything in here to distract anyone yet. Oh, damn. So, can look here. Whoops, so once we've done that, confirm all. Look here. Items, we can't build anything yet. Because we don't have the social minions required as part of the campaign. Love the way they do the old... Uh, Spread Eagle to be scanned by the uh, system. We don't really have any cameras here yet either. That's going to come later on down the line. Once we've built more things. Here we go. Oh. Alarm. Anyway, wonder what that was. Okay, so here you can see stuff being built, the lockers being brought in. That increases our capacity. As you can see, growing over time. Let's go and check out optional objectives. Side story, here we go, under, in progress at the moment. So let's go and see how the... Okay, so that's been done. So essentially, what we should see is a man captured, being dragged in through here. Task complete. Excellent, build and the sanctum tiles. So if we go to our tasks to get the money. See, building in the sanctum. So we need to get technicians as well. New optional objective available. And what we'll also do is... I won't move Max in there yet.
See, being stopped by the minions again. And distracted constantly. Which is good. Don't need a rock. Your criminal networks are idle. Consider running some schemes. Okay, so that means then over here. Look at the heat. The heat is pretty massive right now. But we don't have the money here. We can do this one and take the heat down. Signed, sealed, dequivered. Nice. Let's Your run that. Are in combat. Hang on, what's going on here? There's our guard who's been captured. Taken for interrogation eventually. And minions, it says, are in combat, but there's none at the moment. And money is pretty low, as you can see. Commitments. 66,000. So, it probably doesn't help that our pile of gold is significantly smaller. Now, bear in mind that these pallets do carry a limited amount. 2,000 gold. Um, obviously, the piles of gold that you got in the original game. Um... Essentially had 400,000 pounds per or for $400,000 for every pile of gold. I'm thinking very well. Let's just get him in there, get his stats and his vitality running up again. There we go. Once he gets his chair, he'll be able to improve. So you can see here, I love this music. Your minions are in combat. See, they're fighting with his guard, they're supposed to be capturing him. But he's obviously resisting. They need to escort him to the prison. So he can be interrogated to get that information off him. Once we've got that, then we'll be able to do some training. Now, let's create a corridor up here before we forget. Just create that like that. Here we go, that's the second level. And there's the basement, as you can see, some gold down here. So eventually, we're going to want to build into that basement. Probably build a staircase there through a corridor and see what happens but we need to research that before we can start building staircases and we don't have a research lab or a scientist yet and these things take time you know you can't build an evil empire from scratch that easily go on then let's have a punch up Just get in there and batter the snot out of him, please. Thank you. Can somebody please escort him into the prison? Oh, for God's sake. Ah, oh, that'll be why. Because there's not enough space in the prison. So if we interrogate that person, then this guy will then move into that position. That's the reason why he's hanging around there with his hands in the air. See, guard mini cannot be captured because no working holding cells. So let's get this person interrogated. The guard will then be transferred to that cell. While we squirt and give this lady a wet willy. New optional objective available. Which is understandable. So, we want to try and get more money. Look at this. An interrogation has succeeded. 
38 of 50. Let's do that one. Optional objective complete. Okay. So we've got another has been captured. Complete optional extra. Collect rewards. And the guard has been captured. Let's start getting some guardy information off him. Put him on guard. And then, in the next section, we'll be able to create a training room. To allow the murdering to continue. There we go. Bright lights, injecting the drugs. Bomb on the lap. Making him hyperventilate. No Michael Jackson dance, I notice. Probably because of everything that happened. and I suppose, I suppose it could be a Rolf Harris dance. I don't know. So that means we have now created, or we now can create, a training room. So I think let's let's keep it a relative size to start with. And there's the guard trainer. So we'll put it two of them there. Now if we go to here, you can see here's the option where we can say guards how many we want. And they cost a certain amount of money over the course of time. Cost per day. So we're going to get 10. But it also means we'll be able to defend our base a lot easier. So let's start working on yeah, establishing a better economy. Let's get some more broadcast strength in this bitch. And we lack the power to do it. So, let us, I think what we should do here is create, oh we can't dig into that stuff yet, damn. We're going to have to create a power room here. Like this. So we have to make it one less than that. And continue making it over here like this. Okay, so then... If we start putting in the... See? No, there's not enough space there. You do not have enough power to sustain this build order. Okay. So by making a little bit of space, it means that we can... How many is there? Five. So we'll leave that. Confirm that. So essentially this will be the new power room away from any prying eyes. And such like. But obviously, once that's built, they're going to be outlined. So we'll then start being able to move those over. Maybe create a... New prison up here, maybe. Don't know yet. No, you don't want it too close there. Because you don't want the screams of people being tortured. Interrupting the sleep of our minions. We also don't have a break room for our boys either. So, let's have a look and put something in here. What have we got? 
One of these lovely chairs. 15,000. Holy crap. That's a lot of money. Let's just cancel those and just create the room for now. So I'd say we're not doing too bad under the circumstances. I hope you've enjoyed so far. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.